I booked a flight just this morning on United Air to go to Houston, Texas to the Super Bowl and Yahoo and Yippee-I-K. Hey, hey, I kind of like it, but I got to tell you, was it ever a vexing experience? It was a real challenge. There was a girl on the other end of the line working for United. English ain't her first language. And I finally said, where are you? You can't be in Houston. Or I'm in the Philippines. And I said, oh boy, Donald Trump is going to get rid of you. <laughs> That's not very nice. I get it. I'm sure she's a great, nice little person. But you know what? Um, <laughs> It ain't nice. But you got someone like me, it was hard. We were on the phone for like at least a half an hour and we don't talk the same. And I said, no, miss, that's not what I said. I was saying this. We finally went through it. And I said, would you please refund the credit card? And she said, yes. And then she didn't. And blah, blah, blah. I got a headache. And so am I ever glad that we're going to kind of fix stuff because there's a lot of Americans sitting at home. They don't have jobs. They would like nothing better than to have a job at a call center. Why is a call center in Manila? Duh, I don't get it. And so many other companies across North America are doing that. They have been doing it for a number of years. It doesn't work. It's time to make America first, and Canada first, and every other place in the country. <laughs> that makes no sense, but you know what I mean. NAACP vows to oppose Trump's voter fraud investigation. The head of that organization has come out in a stark opposition to President Obama. Trump's coming investigation into voter fraud and he says this, it's racist. I don't even think there's any words to go further than that. It's racist? What? <laughs> what has that got to do with the price of a banana? How long is a rope? It's racist? Really? Nobody has ever said that black people or purple people did anything wrong. Voter fraud is just, as that term implies, potential voter fraud. Probably white people are kind of bad, too, doing some things like that. These guys, they're always playing that card. Actors, with regard to the election and so many other things in life as well, they just need to shut up. God put them on earth to entertain us, and that's it. Just saying. <laughs> just collect your ridiculous amounts of money and be quiet. All in the Family. Do you remember that television show back in the 70s? The reruns are on all of the time now. It's a fabulous show. Old Archie Bunker. I mean, he's great. Carol O'Connor plays him. The, the interesting thing, though, is, is Hollywood tricked us yet again because in real life, Carol O'Connor, he's passed now, but he was actually a Democrat. Who would have thunk it hot? Huh? That's like Rock Hudson when he came out of the closet, so to speak. It was just shocking. He wasn't a great, big, strong guy. And here you got Archie Bunker on the political side of life who is just such a, uh, he's a Republican on steroids, and in real life, not so fast. California, speaking of Republicans, there's not many there. I mean, there's just a few of us hanging out. Eric Holder now has been hired by California to fight back against the momentum of the gun crowd. Wow. That's just a wow, wow, wow. I mean, good bloody grief. Just retire. I mean, uh, gun-free zones and all this stuff, that's all they're aiming to do. They couldn't do it federally so now they're trying to do it in the most populous state <sighs> okay recently i was in new york city and i went to new jersey several times and, and to visit some people that i know and had to always pay the toll and that's vexing as well tolls i thought about tolls you know why do we have tolls i know why it's because governments didn't do their job right in the first place it's kind of like hiring a tutor to teach your kid after hours you got a kid goes to school he's really now putting in a 12-hour shift because the teacher's too stupid to get the job done okay that's what's happened here with tolls i mean you got roads that have been paid for literally a thousand times over insurance sales tax emission tax fuel tax carbon tax and there's so much more going on and and you know what um uh, everything is late buses can't run on time uh, garbage trucks can't run on time because there's a backlog on the roads and then the government steps in and says hey since we haven't done our job well and we screwed everything up for you now we're going to impose this other little thing that's called idle thing even though it's 20 below you can't sit here in this big parking lot this big highway and idle your car you got to shut it off and freeze and then start it again and duh 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 oh my i got a headache how are you doing politically right is right and left is wrong you can't fix stupid so you have to vote it out of office that's been the popular saying but it goes deeper than that and trump is the only politician i've ever seen that is now going to the root of this and that is he's going into the employees and firing them because those are the guys who run government and no other politicians ever done that a republican he takes office and he keeps the same secretary that his democrat predecessor had and so on and so forth right and trump is now changing that and that's a darn good thing so the roads might work again it's taking a toll on me how about you y'all come back here tomorrow we'll get a more for you from the right see ya